from NBC News, this is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Kotb from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. New Year's is just a few days away, and whether you're planning a big party or an intimate gathering, we've got some festive ideas for you. Yvette Rios is the holiday editor at Better Homes and Gardens, and she's here to show you how to decorate for your party as if you were a pro, just like Yvette. Hello, oh, hello. Yvette. Thank you so much. How Happy are New you? Year. Thank we're you. almost there, right? I like how you're into recycling right yes. after Christmas, right? Well, you know, we're all very inspired mm -hmm. by the Obamas mm -hmm. and how they use recycled ornaments or recycled right. their ornaments for their tree. Mm -hmm. right. So this is a super simple way. Take the wreath that you have for Christmas, take the ornaments off and make it a New Year's wreath. And you can put noisemakers on it, you can put all sorts of shiny blingy things, and then when this is hung up, your guests can actually take the noisemakers right off the wreath oh, and go to the party. That's a cute idea. Oh, super easy, right? Very festive Okay, so idea. then for our centerpiece, I love this that. is such an easy idea. Yeah. Take the ornaments that you have, the gold, the silver ones, mix them stick all them together. Into, mix them together, stick them in vases and put them on a cake stand like this so it looks bubbly and it's fun, right? Yes. Yeah, and, I like that. And putting them uh, in like uh, festive wine glasses and such. Is yeah, exactly. And you want to keep the sort of the look of the champagne bubbly. So, you know, it's it's that same sort of Cute. bubbly champagne look. Again, you okay. haven't spent any money because it's all stuff you already exactly. have. Don't you love the that? Cheap. Exactly. Right. What do we exactly. Have here? Okay, so one of the things that I do is I make my own party hats. Which you do because <laughs> you're event Yes, videos. that's what you do. What do normal people do, though, Yvette? <laughs> well, no, but seriously, this is super fun. You just take scrap of paper and you fold it into the Show form us, of, a of a coin. Cone. Okay. So right. you go like this. You make a cone out of it. Yes. Uh -huh. And then you trim off, wait, let me see. You trim off your the excess end. parts yeah. down here. Cut, cut. And then I just use tinsel, hot glued it to the bottom like this. Or you could use feathers and kind of zhuzh it up so that every guest has like their own special hat. You have must You are you very creative. But excuse me, she has to have, these people have very small heads. Oh, no way. These you have very little fine. friends. <laughs> Very little friends. <laughs> Those are beautiful. These but they're just very fun. unique. No, but they're very cute. Yeah, okay. I totally dig it. All right, yeah. now, okay. So you if doing? you're okay, so if you're having a sit-down shindig, which I recommend, if you're going to have a dinner party, you want to have less than 12 people. That's a good number. At least for me, that works. Okay. And you want to make sure you start your parties if you're having dinner around eight, and then if you're having like just cocktails around nine, because you don't want to start too early and then have people get like exhausted by yeah. the time. Right. That's the trouble with New Year's Eve. It's Isn't just it? it's just too late. It yes. Is. We gotta move <laughs> midnight. To about we should start eight thirty. Around, yes, that's perfect. Come, <laughs> come for six for cocktails by eight thirty. It's nine night time. You know <laughs> Anywho, uh, so that's what it'll be at the Gifford House. I promise you. <laughs> Frankly, so, uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right next to him. <laughs> Anyhow, go ahead, Yvette. So if you if you've got a dinner party, stick your napkins inside your goblet like this, and then you can make these very cool little crackers out of in, the inside of toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls. So what do you, you do? Stick, you put them together. All the directions are on bhg.com slash holidays. But you put them together like this. You stuff the inside with confetti. And then I wrapped it in the leftover gift wrap. So now, okay, pull one side. Careful. Wait, we put, grab it from over I'm here. not doing grab anything else, else today. <laughs> I think I hit oh, with candy. And the cleanup oh. is so much fun. Isn't that fun? After Isn't that, that fun? Yes. <laughs> and, and this oh. is just stuff from the shredder. It just put a magazine right. it's through all the paper recycled. shredder. See? see, there you go. Yes, How fun is that? I see. Thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> see, it's recyclable. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, you love New Year's. Yes. It's Why so do we much not fun. have any alcohol at this table? It's all I want to know. We're getting we're getting No wonder there. I'm we're not enjoying there. this segment. <laughs> Golly day. All so, right. so to keep, I mean, what, one thing that we do in my family, which I wanted to share like a family tradition, uh -huh. is that at the end of the year, we take a couple minutes to ourselves with our cocktails, of course, mm -hmm. and you write a list of things that you wanted to forget about the old year. You write it on a little sheet of paper, and then we burn it. This is what we do in my family. So I'm just Sounds suggesting that. Well, no, it's, but it's about like a renewal. A lot of psychos and... in Yvette's family. No, but I think that's an issue. That would be a festive thing. Yeah. Are you allowed to read it out loud? Well, see, that's a whole nother. That's yeah. the after party. All right. <laughs> but you burn them. So you, you say goodbye them. to your problems. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you start the new year you know, with, with the a new outlet. What's going on here? Okay, so then if you're going to use champagne glasses that are, you know, the plastic kind, which are totally fine and they yeah. can be recycled, I like to put a little bit of glue hot glue on them because the bases come detached right. from the... Okay. Okay, so basically, it. had it worked, you stick a little bit of glue on there, you put them like this, and then they don't come detached from the top right, and the bottom. Right. Okay. And then I like to zhuzh them up with a little bit of permanent marker or some paint mm -hmm. pen, puffy paint, whatever.
whatever, just so everybody knows where their glasses are. You have are. to have good handwriting. Yeah, well, you know, it took yes. me a couple of shots, Oops, trust I'm me. Sorry. Okay. Okay. And then for your designated drivers, for your mm -hmm. non designated drivers, I should say, the people that are drinking at your party, mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea to send them all away with a hangover kit okay. for the next day. What do you have in there? So, okay, so I've got, of course, a bottle of water, water right. um, some Visine, right. some salty <laughs> snacks, because you need that. Ibuprofen, you, that's good. <laughs> ibuprofen. I like that. All yeah, right. you've got some earplugs for a good night's okay. sleep, a face mask, cute. and a little bath. And you could put a little hair on the dog if you wanted to, you know what I mean? Very cute. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So no alcohol, but it was all right. <laughs> Happy New Year event. Thank, Thank you very so much. much. Happy New Year. We will be back with more of today on NBC. It really is.